fix. I could start spamming that skill. Should be pretty soon. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And even for... It's just very low damage all around for the early game. Dun 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 dun. Den of Evil whole objective here is of course to kill everything in the den. That's all you gotta do is kill every last monster in here. Quest complete it, you get a skill for doing it. Pretty much an introduction to the game when the demo of this game came out. When the demo of Diablo 2 first came out. That was actually when I started playing it. Because I remember how many times I played the Den of Evil because that was the only um that was the only thing you could play. It was like once you fe you defeated the Den of Evil and you got through the cold plains, the demo was over. Which wasn't enough to satisfy my Diablo needs. So I pretty much did the Den of Evil. <laughs> like, um, I think all they offered as well was the Barbarian. So I beat the Den of Evil like five different times with Barbarian at least before I bought the game. Or before the game came out. Uh, da, da, da. There are nine classes, and for every uh, class that there is, there's like an infinite amount of builds that you could do, where it's going to take you a really long time to experience every option that you have in this game. So you know you can really play the classes the way that you want to, find one that works for you and just stick with it. Picking up bows because I'm probably going to need to upgrade mine very soon. Matter of fact, hold on, got level 6, that should speed this up, got barrage, and barrage. Early game is awesome. Spams arrows everywhere. Does less damage, a little bit less damage than ghost arrow, but it spams arrows everywhere. Uh, more dexterity. So now I can pretty much just run at things and be like, whatever, I got barrage, and it'll speed things up a whole bunch. Also, uh, I'm gonna have to wait until I have enough money to get identity scrolls. That's another reason it's not worth picking most stuff up in the early game. Because you don't have money for identity scrolls. What is, what is my identity? I don't know. Here's the mini boss over here, who is uh, luckily in an amazing spot, and I can just shoot him through the wall. So let's see, I'm gonna walk out here. It might be hard to see, but. Actually, usually there's way more of them. They're kind of usually stacked in that one area where as soon as you walk out there, you get blasted by tons and tons of arrows. I want that. Amazon specific helm. For Amazoning. So yeah, I was actually playing, test playing this patch before it officially came out on the server. And I played with Zon one of them to see if that's what I would want to really be playing. And I had a really hard time with this little, this guy right here. Because he was in a spot where I couldn't, like, cheese him through the wall over here. And as a Zon, it's, it's pretty tricky to actually... You know, like, see? They all freeze you when you hit them, and it slows her down so much that she can't really do much. So I'm lucky that I was able to get him through the wall. And my jaw is hurting from talking already, because freaking hours of that wasted source commentary. Die! This is my revenge for making me talk or something. I don't know. Den of Evil. Five monsters remaining. That's how the Den of Evil goes. You kill everything and you gotta run around and look. Whoa, what did I miss? Uh, very classic D2 esque is to finish the Den of Evil only to have one monster remaining and you have to search for him for like 10 minutes. Also, if the minimap is annoying, let me know. I stare at that more than I stare at the actual screen, so that's going to be displaying a lot while I'm playing. But if it is annoying, I will close it whenever I can. Like, if I know a map well enough that I don't need it, I'll close it, but... I don't know. Someone watched me play D2 before, and they told me that it was rather annoying to see that map all the time. I don't know. Whoops. Just setting hotkeys. Then we run back to Akara. And hopefully I can get past all this newbie stuff soon and get into the serious late game, but I am not. I'm playing on Twinked, which means I'm not getting items from other characters. None of that stuff. 
not getting rushed. I want to go through the whole game myself. Oh, so very honorable. And... yeah. But late game, trust me guys, there is a ton of stuff to do. There is a ridiculous amount of depth to this mod. And things to do, bosses to beat, all that type of stuff. Um... Whatever, I'm just gonna do it. You can stick a jewel in a one slotted thing early game, or multiple slots. I think the secret jewel bonus goes up on items where you can put more than one jewel in them. Basically what it gives me is plus five to all the tributes. Just a nice early game boost to give you uh, that little bit of extra damage or extra whatever to pick up items that you could wear. Very cool, actually. I'm tempted. <laughs> uh, on my sorceress that I was just playing, I found a unique bow that I could probably wear already. But, on Dwinked, it's, it's tempting. Considering I already played the early game and wasted all that commentary, even more so. So yeah, that's enough staring at my inventory. Let's get back out there and kill some stuff. Also, summon fire elementals, which I'm not really going to be using, but because uh, it's the first point I'm putting into it, it's going to be helpful enough. And this is Act 1. The end of Act 1 is killing Andario. So the whole goal here is to go kill Andario and make her pay for whatever she's done. Which is... I don't know what she's done personally. As many times as I've beaten Diablo the subtle uh, commentary, the subtle story stuff. I don't know the finer details of what exactly is going on, who specifically in Daryl is, and all you gotta know really is that she's a demon that needs to die because she, she her boobs are just, they, she lets them hang out all day. And she's got like, like what, like metal clamps on them to cover them up. That's like all she's got going on there. I mean, that's evil enough to want her dead right off the bat. And it's not like, oh yeah, boobs, sexy boobs. It's more like, oh my god, please put those away. They're, they're, they look like if you poke them with a needle, they'd start oozing green stuff. Because Andariel's disgusting. So, I don't need a reason to kill her. That is, just looking at her is enough reason for me to want to kill her. And I hope you can all uh, understand what I'm talking about here. I could go on. I could say more disgusting stuff about Andario, but... I think you guys get the point, and I don't want to. I don't want to expose you guys to that. Cause I'm nice. I legitimately need a better bow. It's the bow they start you off with. This crap. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Superior leather armor. Yeah, I don't have enough mana to spam these things to death either. Well, do I have any mana potions? This is taking way too long. Hold on. And this mini boss, the names are green because there's a mini boss in there that um, is really annoying. Seventy-five defense already. I'd rather wear that than have the stat bonus. I could give it the stat bonus, but I'm not gonna. Also, there's things like this. Like, uh, I'll sh I guess I'll show you right now. One of the many, 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 many new items in this game. Uh, plus two required level, 2% 2 increased attack speed, Mystic Orb. Cube with any weapon to add bonus, and that's exactly what you do. You stick it in the cube with your weapon. It'll add two levels to the requirement, but it also gives it whatever bonus is on there. So that's very useful to uh, keep upgrading your items with that. Uh, some of them are weapon specific, some of them are... Uh, armor specific. That one just happened to be weapon, so you know, whatever, I'll throw it on there for now. <clears throat> My voice almost sounds like it's Hi. like it's going away. Charcy, what's going on? It's been a long time. No C. I'm... Can I, I can't afford that. Charcy, give me a deal. Please. We're, we're bros. I'm trying to save the world from Diablo. You think you could give me a deal on that bow? I'll take her silence as a, a very, a very, very big no. 
Well, hello there, everyone! I've got about three minutes left in this video. I actually checked this time. It's pretty difficult to actually time these because... I don't know. Because I do random, random stuff. And I think the audio is all messed up again, where it sounds louder than it should be. Hold on, arg, arg. I should have done that before I started. It's like, a, it's a while later. I, I had to take a big break. Recorded some Terraria in the meantime. But now I'm back, we're in the Cold Plains, and if I remember correctly where I left off, I'm, I'm level 7 for one thing. Did I ever beat the Den of Evil? Yes, I did. Um, leveling up would be good, but also I need to find the stony field, and I guess while I'm here I can also kill Blood Raven, because why not? Um, the mercenary that I get from that could get my, like, hand-me-down bows, so she won't be incredibly weak. And it'll help get through this area fast, because I did mention that, uh, early game bows on is kind of slow. So, is this it? Yeah, burial grounds, let me spam all you to death. What was that hockey? <laughs> I'm already forgetting, it's actually been, like, six hours since I was last recording, which is... Which is uncommon of me. Usually I record in much longer sessions, but, you know, whatever. And, uh... Yep. That does do more damage when you line them up like that. Ghost Arrow is incredible. I, I am going to try my absolute best. I always say this when I play Zom, but I'm going to try and use Ghost Arrow as my main skill. And... Um... Going to try and use Phalanx as a secondary. Uh, but usually what happens is all the times I've ever said I wanted to use Ghost Arrow as a main, then I'd end up using what is now called Worm Shot as my primary, because it's just so easy to spam that. It's so... meh. Meh. It does a lot more DPS than Ghost Arrow typically does. But, as I said, I love me some Ghost Arrow. I should just run in there real quick and uh, kill Blood Raven get everything around me and let's go blood raven let's go this is so much easier on my sorceress oh poop if i die here if i dishonor my family this early in the game i don't know what i'd think about that what i do think is that i go through mana insanely quickly doing that and i should probably try and ghost arrow these guys so I have been leveling it up. It does add extra magic damage per level. Not much, but early game it really does help out. And I can stand behind this wall and shoot y'all. So I'm gonna do that. Except these guys, I think it's cool to get up in my face and I'm forgetting my hotkeys. Seriously, with my sorceress who was using... If you know what I'm talking about. At this point I was pretty much just spamming Frigid Sphere and it, it wrecked everybody. Very very quickly. This, I actually gotta like aim arrows and stuff. Come over here, Blood Raven. Stop running, stop. Stop running, stop. Just, st could you stand still for like, just, would you kindly? Would you kindly? I should go back and get some more health potions, because if I die, probably gonna quit. And this, this commentary, it would end. Um, I was on a roll before, a whole bunch of things I wanted to ask, and I just, I don't remember anything anymore. Let me... Nope, worthless. I have one question before this, this, uh, this commentary gets too far in. One, this is probably running close to three minutes, so I have to end it soon. And two... I need mana! I need mana. Um, would you want me to do this the style of... Uh, I commentate everything that happens, like absolutely everything, or my typical, I skip a lot of the really boring parts. For example, uh, Diablo Act 2 is uh, notably very boring. Should I skip most of it and just get the important parts, or should I record a good chunk of it, or most of it, or all of it? What's, what's your guys' actual opinion on that? Because in my opinion, what I've always done without even asking is just cutting out most of the gameplay. And this has probably been three minutes, so... Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. Next episode, we are going to go to... I'm on my way to the stony freaking field. It's freaking stony over there. It's going to be cool. Let's go.